Hey Jacques here. All right, so in this video, we're gonna focus on creating a beautiful dashboard tile. This video is part of a video series where we are creating an awesome looking Figma mobile web app, auto layout kind of thing. So let's jump right into it. All right, so in the previous video, we created this beautiful widget. We created this add device and we added a few icons there. Again, if you haven't checked the video out, make sure to check it out. This is all part of a big video series, as I said in the beginning of the video, where we are creating this beautiful home automation app in Figma. And again, using auto layout, crucial, crucial, crucial. All right, so what we're gonna do in this video though, is we're gonna create this beautiful dashboard tile. And I'm also gonna add, and I'm gonna show you how I created this icon. And I'm also gonna show you how we can use our assets, our components that we created in the previous video to add it in there. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate over to my icons. You can see that I've already sourced my icons. In a previous video, I also showed how to source icons. I use Iconify, so make sure to check that out as well. Now, what we're gonna do, the first one is we are gonna create the garage door. So I have the garage door icon here. So I'm going to select it. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create a component for it. The next one is we need to use the little light bulb. So again, I'm gonna click on this icon and I'm gonna create a component of it. Okay, let's navigate back to our dashboard. So I'm gonna select my dashboard. I'm gonna to go to my layers, have a quick look. We can see that we have container and we created that in the previous video and we have add device container. And when we select that, we navigate down or scroll down, we can see it selecting that add device with that icon buttons. All right. So now we're going to select our container. We're gonna start creating this beautiful dashboard tile. I'm gonna navigate over to my assets and I'm gonna start dropping in that icons, that icons component that I just created. So I'm going to select the garage door. I'm just gonna drop it in. We can just drop it in. It doesn't matter where it is right now. We can definitely change that up. So I'm gonna drop those two in and we're gonna navigate back to our layers. And we're gonna see that it dropped it in exactly where we don't want it. So we're going to select both of these layers and we're gonna move it up to, let's, let's just drop it there for now. And we're gonna quickly rename it. So I'm gonna call this bulb. I'm a huge advocate for renaming layers. It definitely makes a lot of sense and it will save you time down the line. All right, so garage garage door. All right, so now we have those two. I'm going to select them again and we're gonna move them to the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to group those two together and I'm just gonna maybe just call it icons for now or actually, you know what? Let's call it icons container for now. All right, so we're gonna select icons container and we're gonna click auto layout and we're gonna change our vertical layout to horizontal layout. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, so once we've done that, we are gonna go back to our newly created auto layout, our icons container, and I'm going to select the garage door. And what I'm gonna do now, that's right, I'm going to group it again and we're just gonna call it icon garage. Again, you can call it whatever you want. And as you've known, as you've seen, we're gonna select auto layout. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna change the vertical gap to zero, and now I'm going to change the width and height. I'm gonna change it to fixed. I'm doing that because we wanna create a beautiful rounded circle around our icon. So with that fixed, I'm gonna change it to 60 by 60 PX. It's gonna move things around, but that's fine. We are now going to change the full, and I'm gonna change it to my light my color properties, that is light. Again, if you haven't watched that video, make sure to check it out where we are playing around with variables and colors and all that kind of good stuff that we are using throughout the design. All right, so now we've done that. We can see that we have something, but hey, that's not really what we want, but it's kind of what we want. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, we want to change our background to secondary color. So I'm going to change my color properties and I'm gonna quickly switch it to secondary and it's not gonna look like anything, that is fine. But now I'm going to select my actual icons, garage, auto layout, group layer thing, and we are going to center it. So it's right in the center. All right, so now that we've done that, I'm actually going to go and group it again. And we are going to call it, let's call it tile icon. Boom, okay, that is done right now. And as always, we're gonna create an auto layout of this component. Now I'm going to change the full of this specific tile icon and we're going to change it to light. 
Nothing's really gonna show right now, but as always, it's gonna have a horizontal gap of 10 by default. So we're gonna change that to zero. And we're gonna start adding some spacing. So I'm just gonna add 10 by 10. Okay, so with that padding added, with the horizontal vertical padding, we're gonna change that again. But with that already added, I'm going to select my icon garage on the left hand side. And now we're gonna change that to, let's change it to 100. It doesn't really matter what you change it to. The important part is as long as it's over a certain amount where it looks like a circle. And the reason why it would look like a circle is because we've changed the fixed width and fixed height to 60 px. If you don't change that, it will make the whole circle look squished. So it's very important to change the fixed. Okay, so with that changed, we are going to select our tile icon and we're just gonna add a little bit of a radius to it. You can see with this design, we have a bit of a radius and we have 20 px radius. So I'm going to select it and we're gonna change it to 20 px. All right, so we're starting to get somewhere. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna change the actual icon color. We're gonna change it to dark, our color property that's dark. And now we're gonna drop in our switch. So to do that, we're gonna select the tile icon and we are gonna go back to our assets and we're just gonna drop in the switch. It's not really what I want there, but we're gonna play around with it. We're gonna navigate back to layers and see what's going on here. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to take our switch and we need to move it out of the icon garage. And you'll see when you move it out to the icon garage, it, it puts it right next to it. And the reason why it's putting it right next to it is when we select title icon, you can see that our horizontal or our layout for that matter is set to horizontal. So I'm just gonna swap those two around so that we can actually have it properly set. Okay, perfect, that is done. So when we zoom out, we can see that we're starting to get there. It's starting to look like what we want. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna add the garage door text and we also wanna add the little device. So we're gonna scroll in, we're gonna scroll in right here. I'm gonna hit my text tool and we're going to just select wherever. I'm gonna say garage dull. Perfect, a little bit of French there for you. All right, so next we're going to select our garage door text and we're going to need to move it up. So I'm gonna move it up right here, but it's not where we want it. We need it below the actual icon and the switch. To do that, as always, we're going to select our switch. We're going to select our icon. We're gonna group it again. We're going to rename it. I'm just gonna call it row for now and we're gonna hit auto layout and we're gonna make sure that it is set to horizontal layout. We're gonna navigate back to tile icon and I'm gonna change the layout to vertical. So now it's set to vertical layout, but it's not 100% where we wanna be. So I'm gonna take the garage door text and we're gonna move it down a little bit. We can see that it's getting to a point where we want it, but we still need to fine tune it a little bit. But for now I'm gonna take garage door and we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna say one device and now we need to change a little bit of color here because we can see that everything is zero, 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 zero. That's not really what we want. So we're gonna select both of those text items and we're gonna change the full property to dark. Just a little bit of an off black there, a little bit of an off pepper color. Good, that's what we want. Now we need to change the actual font size of it and I'm just gonna navigate back to see what kind of font size I used. I used 18px medium and 14. So I know that I already have text properties for this when I select garage door. Oh, I can see it's already 18px, but I wanna use my text properties, my text style. So I'm gonna select heading three. So everything is connected. And the reason we do that is because down the line when we want to change a few pixels here and there of the font size or the thickness, it will change it throughout the entire design. So that's different what we want to do now the one device when i scroll back i can see i'm just going to select the random one we can see that it has a custom color so we definitely want to add a custom color to it so i'm just going to say off black i'm just going to hit okay and we can also see that it is 14px regular now the previous text property we created was 14px, but it was light. So I'm going to go and create a new text property and I'm just gonna call it heading small, small alt for alternative. And again, naming convention completely up to you or your team, but I'm going to select my one device text and we are going to click on the heading three and we're gonna change it to heading small alternative. Okay, so now it's getting there, it's getting closer. Okay, so with that, we also need to change the actual color. So I'm gonna change the dark and we're gonna change it to off black. Beautiful, now we can see that it's starting to get where we want it to be. The next thing is we need to play around with the spacing and alignments a little bit. I'm just gonna go back and select what we've already created. I'm just gonna look at the padding. We have 15 by 20. So I'm gonna go back here and we're gonna select our actual tile icon and we're just gonna change this 
to 20 by 15 actually other way around no that's okay perfect so next we need to add the gap between the actual text and the icon so i'm going to select garage door and device we're going to group that together and we're just going to call it container text and we're going to select auto layout so that we can actually play around with the gap in between of these two items and we can do that by changing the horizontal gap and actually i like it to be around there that's perfect now we need to change the actual gap between the icon and our text we're going to do that by clicking on tile icon and we're going to change the vertical gap and we're going to change it to 20. And we're gonna make sure that it matches what we have on the sides as well. All right, so the last thing we need to do is we need to change the spacing between our axle switch and our icon. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick that's gonna speed up your design process. In the beginning of the video, we dropped in this bulb. I want you to go ahead and click on the actual variable and we're gonna delete that. Now that we've done that, we're gonna go back to our tile icon and we're just gonna duplicate it. Now this is gonna save us a lot of time because we don't have to actually go and create everything that we've just created. Simplicity is key, so now with this duplicated, I can just go and change around a few things. So the first thing is let's go and change this icon. I'm gonna select the icon and I'm gonna make sure in my layers that I've selected the icon, I'm gonna go back to assets and we're gonna take a little bulb and we're gonna drop it in there, boom. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my layers. We're going to select the garage door variable and we're going to delete it. Now we have our beautiful bulb there and we are just gonna change the name. We're gonna change it to bulb and I'm gonna change the color. We're gonna make sure that we select. I'm just gonna open up this a little bit so we can see here. We're going to select the vector within. When you select the bulb and change the color, it's going to change the background of the bulb. That's not what we want. We wanna select the vector and change that to dark. Okay, so now that we've changed the color of the bulb, I'm going to change the actual wording at the bottom and I'm gonna change it to driveway light. Okay, now that we've added the text, I want to change the actual switch to off. So I'm going to select my switch and in my variable properties, I'm going to change it to switch off and you'll see that it is off. All right, so with that done, we can now do a bit of spacing and make sure that our alignment is correct. And as we're going to do this, you're going to see that our tiles are actually going to space out correctly. To do that, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure I select icons container and we want to change the actual width of hug to full container. You're going to see when you do that, that it takes a little blue outer line and it's going to push it to the right hand side. Still not what we want, but we're getting closer, we're getting closer. We're going to take the tile icon of the first one and we're going to change our width to full container. So it's going to space it all out and we're going to do the same for the first one. We're going to change hug to full container. The last thing we need to do is we need to get our switch to be on the right hand side you'll see that it's closely grouped together with the actual icon on the left hand side to do that we're going to select our row and we're going to change this hug to full container and we are also going to change our horizontal gap to auto and you're going to see that it's going to space it out to the right hand side exactly what we want okay so we're going to do the same for the other one as well i'm going to select row and we're going to change the hug to full container and we're going to change the horizontal gap to auto and boom it's done everything is done exactly what we want and now the last thing we're going to do is we are actually just going to duplicate it we're going to duplicate our icons container by hitting ctrl d and we have two of them all right so now with the tiles created we've created beautiful tiles with a switch on and a switch off button the last thing we need to do though is we need to add the actual title to do that i'm going to hit the text tool i'm going to drop it in and i'm just going to name it my devices and we're going to see that it's already set to heading three that's perfect that's what we want and I'm just going to take these two boxes and my device on the left hand side in my layers i'm going to group that we need to go and create this effect where the bottom row tiles are slightly hidden we're going to do that by selecting our group i'm just going to rename this to tile container and we're going to now create that hidden effect so to do that we're going to select our tile container and with the alignment we're going to move the actual align to be at the top. If you don't do this, it's not gonna work the way that we want. So we're gonna change and select that to align to the top. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the hug. We're gonna change it to fixed height and we're gonna start playing with that height so that we can start hiding the actual tile. We just wanna make sure that it kind of, you know, just has a little of a hidden effect. Okay, done. 
There we go. We have our hidden effect right now. And in this entire video, we created this beautiful tile with a switch on and switch off effect. In the next video, we're gonna focus on creating this mobile menu that we have on the bottom side. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. All right, so with this done, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am posting videos daily. We are currently working on this beautiful mobile app in Figma using Auto Layout. It is a video series. Make sure to check out the other videos. In the coming videos though, we are going to start playing around with development. We are gonna start playing around with Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna show you everything, so make sure to check that out as well. Thanks for watching.